Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. Other folks came to train that throwing off. It's awful slick sometimes. Slippery little devils. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Cuts all of them down soon enough. <laughs> the sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll. Before the calamity, that is. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain in the sky. Valuables are lying everywhere. The kid thinks twice about risking his hide for them, though. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security's all fired up. Path 
was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. But calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. the winds in the old days. We can do it again, but the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. ship live munitions down the path. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky and wake them up. It's wise to toss those things plenty far away. could have survived the calamity. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them no matter how high we build. War machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. No place better than trap a shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. 
Travers had to tread real carefully, or else take a nasty fall. They trained themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Most trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. Trapper wouldn't walk away empty-handed. Kid decides to keep working his aim and footwork on the shingle. The best time to pick a new spot was when swapping magazines. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Kid sees him there agape. Flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions after all. The Tunder Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it.
Grady Sr., Grady Jr. They didn't make it, but him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well. Kid does what he has to do. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go, please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. That ought to make those fangs sink in nice and deep. The cores, they remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Well, look what we have here. The memorial. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction, just another one of my sketches, nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. 